So we've got Caleb Odom on set of Copper Oak Candle Company. I, I feel like we're in a lab, Caleb. Yeah, absolutely. It's a bit of a science experiment. I'm so excited. So here's the deal. Um, this thing called social media and your dear friend, would you like to give her a plug? This would be your chance. I Mindy Brock. Mindy Thank Brock. You. Thank you, Mindy. the brand. Thank yes, you. Yes. So anyway, she, she reiterated the brand. I had actually seen it maybe in a, in a, uh, retail store or I, I have seen this before and it's beautiful. It's one of those logos that you think, okay, that's nice. They put a lot of thought into it. Yeah. Right? I really appreciate that. Yes. Something I came up with just sitting at home. I thought about, you know, wanting to start something that was productive and creative, something that would occupy any bit of spare time that I have. Yes. And so just came up with the brand and the logo and really starting off small with friends and family, but it's grown to uh, Man, has it. be to a, whole a lo forest. local brand now. Yes, a whole forest now. And here, here's the deal. Everybody likes candles, right? That's yeah. a great, you know, you can just use that. You can walk into any kind of uh, guy that or gal that wants to invest in you and say, Everybody loves candles. And I'm like, there it is. There's just money. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. I mean, I know a lot of times candles get the stigma for being kind of a, a ladies' product, but right, not I know anymore. a lot of guys like a nice candle as well. And so I wanted to bring some more masculine and also feminine fragrances to the market and allow you to customize your own fragrance and choose exactly what you like. Okay, so <laughs> if you didn't know, and you cannot steal our ideas because we already have these patented and, and they're yes. copyrighted, so trademarked. Don't even, trademarked. So stay away. Absolutely. Okay. But we're going to show you the art of candle making because it would be cool to share that. And then I have come up with a pretty crazy duo that we're going to put together. Yes. And you say if it does well, we can call it the spiel? We can let you have your very own custom well, no, fragrance I, I would like called to, the spiel. Okay. Yes. And, and we can sell it? Absolutely. And if I sell the most, I get like a portion? Absolutely. See how I just I'll give that? you a wholesale price and you can sell them yourself and we'll both make some money on it. Cha-ching! Rob, do you hear that? <laughs> I do. That's, that's a lot of money right there. All right, let's get to it. What are we going to do? All right, so first we're going to make sure that our oil or our wax has been melted down to the proper temperature. Okay. And once that has been melted down correctly, then we're going to go ahead and measure out our oils. Now, do you do equal parts or do you, if you want one scent to maybe take over the other, you do a little bit more of that? So, copper oak candles are completely customizable. Mm -hmm. You get to choose your container. You get mm -hmm. to choose one of our two label options. And then you get to choose whatever fragrance oils you would like mm -hmm. for your very own custom blend that you can order over and over again. It doesn't take a lot of oil. Give to your family. Does it? it doesn't. Nope. Not okay. for this amount. Okay. Usually you want to have about one ounce of oil per 16 ounces of wax. Okay. And that's why you want to make sure you have a quality oil. That makes sense. All right. So at this point, we've got our oil measured out and we're just going to pour it into our wax. And so now since we've got everything mixed together and our container is heated, yes. we're going to go ahead and just do a nice steady pour. You don't want it to splash everywhere. Okay. And you want to try to eliminate any type of air bubbles that may um, happen in there from pouring too quickly. Yes. We've okay. got that full now. And then what we want to do is use one of these braces here. Yeah. And this is going to <gasps> hold the wick into place. Look at that. You and are sure fancy. That centered. That is awesome. And then we let it sit overnight mm -hmm. and it will cure together mm -hmm. and it'll be ready for burning in no time. That's What's awesome. great about these pure soy candles is that they have a really awesome burn time. I mean, okay. you can burn these things. I've had customers tell me they forgot it lit, you know, lit <gasps> overnight, wow. woke up the next morning and still had plenty, plenty of candle light. Listen, um, the nose knows, or so we think. We've got two guys that we're going to let try and smell and so I'm gonna bring them up and I guess I'll coach them from the side okay? okay so we got Prescott's coming in all right what we're gonna let Prescott do is try to determine what is in the spiel candle okay, okay? Sounds good. and then we got Brandon hey Brandon we want to cover your eyes here just just here put that over your head and cover your eyes good all right so I wouldn't I wouldn't pick that up, but if you're Don't able to bend yeah. over and smell, okay. you can you find out. You can't see the labels. You cannot see the labels. Just give it a whiff just, and see yeah, what you think. Just spend some time with it. Put your nose in it. Don't go too far, though, because it's still hot. You could burn yourself. Just think about it. Think on it. Okay, you know why this is funny? <laughs> He's blindfolded to smell. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Do you get it? All right, so I'm going to let you go. All right, right down here. Walk with me. Walk with me. You're only walking a little bit. <laughs> Okay, you're you know, only I'm walking a little bit. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get, let's, let's get him another scent. Okay, sounds good. Because this, this looks dangerous to me. Which uh, one would you recommend? Don't put anything Caleb? that's hot in my hands. Okay, well, just put your hands down. You're good. Okay. All right, Which let's, one do, you do? let's do this one. Okay, before. give him that. Right. He's just going to put it right up to your nose. Here it comes. It's pretty mild. It's a little different, so you're going to have to get out your 
sniffer. We've been encouraged. I mean, you can right, eat right. it, but we probably yeah. So shouldn't. I've got the merch on. Do I get a hint? <laughs> oh, you do have. You're sporting the merch. Yes, That's is, right. Look at that. He's representing the brand with yeah. the copper merchandise. You're going to be able to find the website soon. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. It's kind of got a roasty smell, but it's a little too clean to be like, like a, a clean nut smell. or like I, I a hazelnut or something. Mm -hmm. um, you guys are terrible at like this. A, like a pomegranate? I don't know. Wow. Wow. Unbelievable. Went really bad. <laughs> I will what admit, there are a lot of different fragrances going on right here. Okay. And I think what they're getting, the floral aspect of it, is what we actually just blended. So <gasps> no whenever time. you okay. whenever you pour in that was that. oil into hot wax, it's immediately going to fumigate the room. Okay. Do you so, want to wanna guess these first before we give anything I kind of have a uh, close one on that. All that right, what smells do you think? like a citrus, like, like some sort of citrus fruit, and then like something close to patchouli. Okay. Wow. Very close. Okay. That was pretty good. Okay. You get down in there and sniff it and see if you know. Spend some more time. It smells you like grandma's house. <laughs> <laughs> he said he kind of gave you some clues if you could even play off that a little peach. bit. Peach. That's my final answer is peach. Yeah. All right. Okay. So I'm going to unveil what's in here. Yes. Okay. So in here we have the white pine forest. White pine forest. Not to be confused with patchouli. Right. So how do you get the entire forest in there? Exactly. Oh, it's tough. It's and tough. the orange and cedar. Okay, so yeah. I was close. You were, you were much closer yeah. than the love and the happiness and the greatness in the air. Okay. So the what other one that they were smelling, this one is called cedar pipe. It's actually a blend of cedar and tobacco. Oh, okay. Gotcha. The yeah. roasty smell. The roasty okay. smell okay. is from the So like I'm not entirely nose blind. Yeah. 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 Nose blind. So. Very good. Here, see if, you, see if you can smell that one. See right. if you can tell what me what's got? in that real quick. What you got? Real quick. Real quick. Bonus Coffee. question. Coffee. 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 Oh, I thought you said. Coffee, Coffee and what? There's two things. Uh, I didn't smell the other thing. Patchouli. You leave the patchouli alone. This one's called pumpkin cream latte. It's I was going to say, it smells like a cream. Coffee and pumpkin and vanilla. So, All right. Find them. We're a fan. Thank you. I appreciate you having me on. Thank you so much. We'll be right back.